Honda Civic. Uh, basically, what I wanted to show you is how to repair your headliner. Because it tends to happen in older cars like this, where the headliner is all tore up, it's dangling from the roof. So we want to kind of restore how the car used to be when it was new. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace it. Go ahead and let me show you how it looks right now. Okay, here's a quick little view of how the the inner headliner looks. Uh, it's like hanging and it's like ripped. It just, it just looks terrible. Look at that. The headliner is all looks like it's dangling and it's tore up and everything. So that tended to happen a lot on these older cars. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that with some new fabric. This tends to happen a lot with like older cars. Uh, they've been beat up a little bit, so we're trying to bring them back to life and restore them. So let's go ahead and get started on doing that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is remove anything that is attached to it. Your sun visors, like this one, your handles, the light source also. So you want to go ahead and remove that. And in this case, also the rear view mirror is uh, a little bit in the way because that's it bolts up to the ceiling okay so the first thing we are going to do is remove the sun visors just basically clip them a little bit look for the bolts just unbolt them let's remove these so in these hondas they have like a little clip right here in the back and then you can just twist them off come right off. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rear view mirror. So these are just clipped on most of the time. So there we go. So clips just come right off the bolts. So let's go ahead and remove that. There we go. We got that over with. Okay so this one had two little clips right here. So you have to push back and it had a bolt right in the center. Now all that's left is to disconnect the wires. There we go. It's out, so that's out of the way. Okay, now what's next up is to remove the handles. Looks like we have three handles. So what you do is you take off the covers first that they have. There we go. And they should all just be bolted on. And two. So just go ahead and do that for all of the other ones that you might have. Okay, now what you have to do is start removing the little panels that are holding everything together. As you can see, I already started. There we go. Or just move them out of the way if, if you don't want to like completely remove them. Just move them out of the way a little bit and just kind of, kind of basically all you have to do is pull on them or pry them off a little bit. They're all they're all just clipped on. So you have enough room to be able to take off the, the headliner in one piece. So let's go ahead and do that to the whole car. Okay, now that you have the headliner removed, basically remove all the nasty stuff you don't want on here. got this from my local fabric shop so it's basically the same thing as the headliner that goes on there it's got the same little type of fabric and then it's got the foam pad underneath also you want to get some adhesive spray to, to spray it down uh, where you're going to lay it to make sure it sticks properly okay so what you want to do first is cover up any holes that are on there so that way when we spray it down it doesn't go through and get on your table. So let's go ahead and spray it down first so we can get it nice and tacky.
have to make sure that everything is on there properly. Everything is stuck on there where it should be. Uh, just basically trim it. Trim whatever you need to trim off. Uh, in this case, uh, there are plastic scraping on all along the side of this headliner, so I can literally cut it right along the edge. Except in front, I'm going to leave a little bit of extra so I can overlap it. So uh, it wants it to overlap and make sure that it doesn't uh, come off later on. But everything else is basically being supported uh, with the, the lights. The rear view mirror, all that is going to get bolted on, so it should give it a little bit of extra support. You just want to make sure that the main parts uh, where nothing is supporting that's really really stuck on there, nice and sticky. So let's go ahead and trim the outer edging. Okay, so now that we got everything trimmed up, basically along the edge, the only part I didn't trim was the front part because it, it overlaps a little bit. So this front part, it overlaps a little bit in this area right here. And this actually has nothing that, that grabs onto it like everything else does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it down. Okay, so after you already overlapped it, we overlapped it so that it doesn't come off. So now what I'm doing is all the little holes are being cut. For example, this one. Just basically go ahead and go around cutting all of them. I've been using a little a little blade. This one. So basically, it's just cutting all the little holes. Just cut it all out. That way, when you go to install the parts, uh, you won't have trouble doing it over there. And this is how the roof looks with no headliner. It actually looks pretty cool. But let's make it look original again. Okay, got the headliner back in its place. everything start adding all the little details of the stuff that we removed let's put on the rearview mirror first there we go let's go ahead and put these on next just twist on there we go okay let's go ahead and put on the sun visors let's put on the one this side and basically start putting everything back together there we go now let's go ahead and pull this up there we go got it bolted up Go ahead and do the rest of it. Just basically put everything back together. There we go. We are done, finally. So basically all I did was put all the little plastics back together. And there you have it. The, the ceiling, the inner liner, the headliner, however you want to call it, is now like new once more. So. Thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like if it helped you out if you have any questions uh, leave it down in the comments below and uh, peace